I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Ten of Swords, and it's with the Four of Pentacles. Now, this Ten of Swords, the card that's above the word pass, well, when it comes to relationships and love questions, and you get this card in a reading, well, it's kind of sad. It's not a good card in the tarot. It could be that something about the love situation is not quite right. So, you could have found yourself asking a lot of questions. And you could have just accepted the reality. It's also important not to close your eyes to the truth. Because you cannot force someone to love you or to behave respect, respectfully. So, if you have recently met someone new and you were looking for love, well, this Ten of Swords is an indicator to keep looking. It could be that the contenders that you've met so far, they're not quite who they seem to be. Now, it's with this Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, it can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. This card, it can be about fear. So, you could be holding on too tight to a situation or a, or a lover, or someone could be attempting to do this to you. And this is actually a very unhealthy clinging because we all know that true love, it allows for space between lovers and no matter what the situation is, no one can ever really control another person. Yeah, there's some unhealthy clinging when you get this Four of Pentacles. So what this is telling me Aquarius, for the recent past energy between you and your person. What I'm getting is that for a lot of you, you were dealing with someone. This person could have kept a tight hold on you, a very tight hold. For some of you, your person was greedy and they didn't want to spend a dime on you. Um... You could have felt like this person was stuck, or they were attached, they were way too attached to money, because the pinnacles, when you hear that word in the tarot, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance. So for some of you, your person was just really, really attached to, to money. Or some, some situation, something was going on, whereas they had some type of firm resistant resistance to change. And like I said, for a lot of you, your person I'm getting, they kept a tight hold on you. Or they just were just greedy and stingy. And this made you feel like the Ten of Swords, like you no longer trust that the connection was stable. Some type of unhealthy clinging was going on. Now, for some of you, because this is a Four of Pentacles, uh, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Four of Wands, and it's with the Five of Cups. Now, the Four of Wands is actually a very good card in the tarot. Yeah, it's a card that's above the word present. So, when this card comes up, 
in relation to love questions or relationships, it can indicate that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed. It could be up to and including possible marriage. So, if you're looking for love, it shows that some type of special occasion, wedding, bar mitzvah, commencement, some celebration or ceremonies, they're actually a great place to meet someone new now. So if you get invited to something like this and you're single, you want to make sure to go. This Four of Wands is a good card for relationships. Yeah. Now, it's with this Five of Cups, which is nothing like the Four of Wands. The Five of Cups, the card that's below the word present, it's indicating that a relationship that you're in may have just ended or could be in the process of ending. But the thing is, when you get the Five of Cups, you have to realize that all is not lost. You're probably not ready to move into a new relationship. So give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. Because there will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was actually to get you to the place you really want to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and works well. So Aquarius, coming up, Four of Wands, and it's clarified by the Five of Cups. So what this is telling me is that for a lot of you, the person that you're dealing with, this uh, recent past energy that we just talked about, this person, um, they're still in the picture for a lot of you. They're disappointed. This Five of Cups, the card below the word present, can be about disappointment. Um, they feel like something is being lost. This person could have wanted something serious with you. Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. So the person's there, they're feeling lost, like there's some type of loss, regret, grief. They could be going through feelings of abandonment or they could be feeling unloved by you because it looks like they realize they're not getting the commitment that they wanted from you. Yeah, Four of Wands is something, it's a, it's a serious connection. It could be about the connection going to the next level. But they feel like it's not happening. It's not going there. It's not, it's not moving. It's not progressing. So the, your person's very disappointed. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got temperance. And temperance is with the sun. So when you get temperance, which is the card that's above the word challenge, temperance, you have to know that before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you actually have to have peace within yourself. So you have to look at what you feel guilty about, any mistakes you feel you've made in your past, then forgive yourself and let it go. Because it's really the only way you can truly make progress. So, it's with the sun card, which is the card below the word challenge. Now, the sun card, it indicates that things sh should be going really well. Your finances, they, sh they could be in really good shape when you get the sun card. But it's important not to lose focus on what's truly important in your life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you. Now, I know for a lot of us it is. It's also a good time to socialize when you get the sun card, meet new people, and make sure you're getting out and about. And if you're looking for a new job and you get the sun card, well, this is actually a signifier. Well, this actually signifies that it's right around the corner. 
so it's coming in if you're looking for a new job. So Aquarius, your challenge is temperance, and like I said, it's clarified by the sun card. So, like I said, you got somebody who's missing you. Their disappointment that things aren't moving, moving up. They're not moving along in a positive way. And the challenge is showing that you could be just wanting to find balance and peace of mind. But this person um, feels like you're the one that makes them really happy. You're the one that adds sunshine to their life. But it looks like you're just trying to... You could just be wanting balance in your life. They feel like you're not really focusing on this connection. Yeah, you're looking for peace of mind. Um, you could have, you could be feeling drained from this four of pentacles, from, from the way that they, um, bring this unhealthy energy, some type of, like I said, this uh, Four of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass, there's some type of keeping a tight hold, a real tight hold on you or something. And this could be what your person is doing. Like I said, they could be, gr the, they could be the greedy type and not really um, spending a dime on you, or you just feel like they're stuck. And you're just trying to find balance in yourself. Now, for some of you, um, your person could be wanting to bring balance back into this connection because they realize that you are the one that makes them happy. They want something serious with you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Cups. And it's with this Two of Pentacles. So, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading, and you've got it here for the outcome. This card, Ten of Cups, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the... Um, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. But either way, it's a really good card to get in a reading. It speaks of happy family. It speaks of um, everything um, going well. Happy wife, happy kids, happy pets, happy life. Even if you're single to the overall well-being that goes beyond you to include yourself and those that you're most concerned about, like your parents, your siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups in a reading. Good card to see regardless of any question. Ten of Cups, it's about your dreams coming true. Now it's with the Two of Pentacles, the card that's below the word outcome. Now, the Two of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship and you get this card, you and your person, your lover, your sweetheart, may be having trouble finding time and, time and energy for each other. So, to make sure that the relationship remains high on your priority list, you're going to want to do this. Yeah, you want to make sure it remains high on the priority list. Otherwise, it will not be there for you when you come back. And if you're looking for love when you get the Two of Pentacles in a reading, don't tell yourself that you're ready if you're truly not ready for a relationship. Yeah. Because the Two of Pentacles can be about multitasking. It can be about several tasks, back and forth, um, ups and downs, highs and lows. So, 
The outcome is telling me with this Ten of Cups clarified by the Two of Pentacles is that um, yeah, ten of, ten of Cups. Like I said, that's a happy overall. Everything is good when you get the Ten of Cups. Now, this is what your person, they're wanting. They're still in this. They still feel like they want to be in it to win it. But you could be, like I said, just trying to find balance, peace of mind. There was some, some unhealthy holding on to, unhealthy clinging. And you felt like you you could not give this person any, you didn't want to give this any serious thoughts. You didn't want to give the connection um, not as much time as you used to, put it that way. And it looks like the Two of Pentacles here showing up for the outcome. You can still be feeling the same way. For some of you, you're going to make busy. Yeah. You're going to work a lot. You, or you, you're going to just juggle, do this and that. For some of you, I'm just looking at the ships in the background of the Two of Pentacles. So for some of you, you might move, move away from this person long and be long distance. Um, but they feel like you are the one that makes them happy. You got somebody that still wants to be with you. Um, you could be dealing with someone that's missing you. Five of Cups is here. And they're disappointed that the connection is not moving up. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. So the outcome is you'll be busy. And they'll still be wanting this to go somewhere. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this fiber season. Just keep hanging in there. It's going to pass and we'll, we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope that you guys come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind. When you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never stand enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.